Welcome. So we're going to have a look at this synth patch. Um, essentially what we have here is, uh, let me just turn that down a little bit, it's going to keep uh, bursting in occasionally. Um, what we have here is that there's a clip with uh, just basically a rhythmic sequence on one note and the pitch variation is being driven by the uh, transpose plugin or pitch plugin that we have here. The outputs of this, because it's chromatic, are then um, quantized to fit within a particular sort of scale. And as you can see, I've got some other parameters here on the uh, various macros that are being modulated. Now, all of this movement, so the movement here in terms of the pitch plugin, the movement of these macros, they're all being managed by these Max for Life plugins. The LFOs, which are here, and also the CV utility. So the CV utility is a part of the CV tools and uh, they've all been sort of set up in particular ways so that they will you know manage a number of parameters. The good thing about the CV utilities is that you can manage um, the range, you can constrain the range, you can put it into a more positive area so you can hear here where the filter remains open a lot more or we can choose to be quite sort of bubbly burbly Right, so you can kind of control that. So even if the sequence, even if the um, the LFO was going quite wildly, and these are by no means sort of uh, wild LFOs at the moment, you can actually constrain their sort of range of travel. Now what I have with number two here is that this is like a constant kind of voltage that's in there or of a constant value that's being sent out. So this sort of occasionally compensates for any sort of odd kind of changes in the, in the values in these areas here. Well you can also see that the depth is always being managed as well as the offset. So the offset can be moved around as well and that's being moved around from here within the LFOs and again we can as you can hear the way the offset changes in a more rhythmic way the faster the LFO is being run Now what you can also see is that I've got a mixture of LFOs that are um, tempo synced and then also free running, which is the free running one is, is taking care here of the offset. And this is kind of an interesting kind of uh, positioning of both because sometimes quantizing everything so that, you know, even when we, when, we, when we alter the phase, sometimes it doesn't really sort of result in as much change as we would actually like to see. So this is one of those ways around it. So you can see there how we might be able to you know, constrain the values and sort of focus the, um, the pitches in this instance within a particular range of notes. That almost feels like too many. That feels a little bit too high. So somewhere in between feels about right. So the CV tools kind of gives you a, 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 an additional kind of controlling um, method here, this CV utility. 
that allows you to sort of manage automation on a particular instrument. Now, the interesting thing here, I suppose, is that these are CV tools, but actually you can still use them in, a, in, a, in, in your DAW in terms of Ableton, but you can still use them in, a, in very much within a MIDI setting, and they can, they're still useful to you. So even if you don't have Eurorack equipment, you can actually still use and make use of the CV tools. Okay, I hope you found that interesting, and please remember to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you.